so at the New School for Drama, we also work on freeing the actors' voices. So what is the natural voice? That's the voice that we were born with, the wail that expressed all our needs, the pang. And then life happens, and we're told to shush, we're told to quiet down, we begin to learn that it's not good to expose yourself too much, not show too much emotion, so we start to push the voice down, grab on, constrict things, hold our breath, and pretty soon the actors come into class and they're like talking in this way and it's, you know, not much going on. <laughs> the voice cannot reflect any human emotion if it's pushed down in this way. So we are, uh, it all happens because of fear, fear of being wrong, fear of saying something stupid, sounding different, sounding flamboyant, having too much emotion when you're supposed to be very in control and professional. And so we look to release these constrictions that come into the voice by, first of all, reconnecting with ourselves through a full, enjoyable breath and a sigh of relief by believing that our thoughts and feelings live within our middles, our second brain, we have gut instinct, and allowing the breath to drop to its depth, to find those thoughts and feelings to come up through the channel, through the open throat, released jaw and tongue, finding vibrations that resonate on the bones of the skull and the ribs, and release with embodied sound through words and song. Thank you. <laughs>